folks, I'm back with another one. I hope you're well, I hope you and your family are doing well, and I hope this lockdown, as I always say, isn't too bad for you. At least us in the UK have some sort of normality to look forward to, um, and I hope around the world, wherever you are, um, we can get some sort of normality back as soon as it is safe to do so. So, on this video, um, I must apologise for my hair, it's a right mess at the moment, um, but there's no hairdressers open. But yeah, on this video I'm obviously going to talk about identifying if you have got a gambling addiction. Um, I could say, are you a problem gambler? Um, but for me, saying problem gambler, I don't like to think that the person intended to become a problem. Um, so are you a gambler that is heading towards addiction or indeed reach that point where it is an addiction? Um, because as I always say, you're not alone in that. Um, and the thing for me is I could sit here and say, if you've lost £7,000 in six months, you've got a problem. I'm not an expert. I'm not a medical professional or anything. and not only that, when you are in a position where you may have lost £7,000, just to figure off the top of my head, you may earn you know, enough money to, to lose that money. So identifying that your gambling addict on that alone is just not, you know, it's not universal. But I feel what sort of is universal is the behaviours in which lead up to gambling addiction and lead... A person to the point where they feel they maybe are ready to stop um, or, or, or stopping is perhaps the only option so first things first when you are gambling normally be it an occasional bet at football maybe twice a week if there's a football calendar um, in midweek or if you once a month having some money put to one side for slots or online roulette or whatever you enjoy. And you can do that normally. Many people can, that's great. But when it becomes a change where it's increased the amount that you're gambling, and I don't just mean frequency, I mean financially, I think that's the first sort of the signs of, of addiction may be setting in um, so increasing the amount in which you bet financially um, why are you increasing it is a question that I found my me asking myself and quite often that would be that I've maybe seen a casino streamer do it or maybe I've uh, spoken to a friend who have had a big win um, through putting a little bit more money on or maybe and dangerously I'm ch uh, chasing losses um, chasing losses again is a change in the behaviour from how we used to gamble um, safely and normally and as a hobby and enjoyment um, it's definitely a change in behaviour because we're chasing we are lumping on bigger amounts but also we're spending more time in doing it. So I would ask yourself, are you spending more time gambling than what you used to do? And if so, what are the reasons why? Are the reasons because you're chasing a big loss that you've had? Are the reasons because you've had a big win and you think it can happen again, it will happen again, and therefore you, you maybe putting on larger amounts because you, you've had that big win um, or are you gambling more often because it's starting to become not all you think about but you're thinking about it a lot more and why are you thinking about it a lot more so again we go back to are you chasing are you doing it because you watching streamers do it, are you doing it because your friends are doing it more, because of lockdown, because of an escape 
are you having a particularly bad time at home? Is there something wrong in your home life? Um, where you feel you need to escape? And all these things play a part in an increase in your gambling activity. And I don't just speak from my experience, I speak from speaking to many gamblers over the years who have unfortunately, you know, succumbed to gambling in the respect that they've They've, they've, their addiction's overtaken with them and when I, when you look at the reasons behind why you're doing these why you're gambling more why you um, why you're putting more on why you uh, sort of thinking about it more I would ask yourself is it healthy is it impacting my life in a negative way because once those sort of things kick in, those behaviours kick in, it, in my experience, it doesn't take long before the next set of behaviours that I'm going to speak of start to kick in also. And that is, perhaps you have had a big loss and perhaps you are chasing that loss. You want that money back. You didn't have that money to lose in the first place, perhaps. But then you're gambling more money that you maybe don't have to lose, that maybe for bills, you know, you may, when you was gambling normally, set aside a small amount each month, but then you're now starting to eat into the bills for the, the money for the bills and or whatever else, family money. Um, are you starting to do that? And is it then becoming a case of you wanting to hide that? You're wanting to hide that from your partner, your friends, your family. And when I talk about is it having a negative impact on your life, are you in a position now where you're not just hiding it from your friends and your family and your partner and the people that love you and that you love, but you're also starting to lie to hide it or to you know, maybe you've started to lie about borrowing money from someone when they ask what it's for are you in a position where away from financial you're lying about the amount of time you spent gambling perhaps in pre-covid times or um, even in covid times you're spending time away from your partner and your family um, you know your kids and you're in a room or the toilet or whatever and you're gambling on your phone more frequently again than you used to gamble and again it's comparing in my in my way of thinking it's comparing once we all gambled sort of normally if you like or in a in a sense in his own heads where it wasn't a big negative impact in his life um or, or then, you know, a negative impact in his family's life either, you know. Um, and that, have we changed from that? And what have we changed? And increasing the amount you've gambled, lying about your gambling, hiding your gambling. Again, it's all a change from someone who can gamble normally and responsibly and safely and for the enjoyment of gambling because there are many people who can do that so following on from that you then may start to obtain money by illegal means and you know from my experience I've, start, I've, I've certainly done that and I've had my brushes with the law as a consequence of that um, and then you start to look at loans payday loans perhaps are you taking loans are you taking loans without really knowing how you're going to pay them back so then the debts are you starting to look at your debts and they're adding up these are questions i would ask yourself i can't sit here and say you've got a problem you've got a problem you've got a problem but if you ask yourself these questions i think a picture will start to become clear um and i i do i just hope that when you have sort of ask yourself those questions you, you whatever you 
outcome is, whatever you, you, you know, decision you reach on whether you maybe have got a problem, if these, um, what I'm, these behaviours I'm talking about, it's a note with you and you can relate. If you are in a position where you feel that you have got a gambling addiction problem, I've said the word problem, it's not, again, something that you set out to, you didn't set out to become a gambling addict. And in that sense, it's not, it's not, you know, it's not this big, massive shame. Yes, I'm sure your friends, family, partner wouldn't, you know, preferably want you to have a gambling addiction and I'm sure you wouldn't. But if if it's crept up on you and you're in a position where it's having a massive negative impact on your life, your mental health, even your physical health, stopping you doing activities that you love before, you know, consuming most of your time, most of your thinking, um, or just a lot more than what it used to, then I believe it's it's important that you speak out. And let me tell you, I mean, from my experience, and again, I've met many people who have got gambling problems. Um, when you do speak out, it's surprising the amount of support that you do receive. You know, it really is surprising. Support will come from people that you really don't expect it to. Um, and when you've got support and when you are battling an addiction, it's it's vital, I suppose, that you get that support because it's easily done to stop gambling for a period of time and then as soon as something goes wrong, you think, bugger it, I'm going to have a gamble. But if you've got them support networks in place, be it you've gone to Gamblers Anonymous, you've gone to... Uh, counselling, you've had counselling over the phone, you've spoken to your friends, you've spoken to your family, you've spoken to someone you can trust. They're there when things go wrong and they're available to speak to and you can use their support in order to hopefully get through those difficult times without resorting to going back into the addiction. And I really do urge you, having spoke about the behaviours and what I think points to a sort of a, an addiction taking hold, if it does ring true with you, if it does hit some notes with you where you think, yeah, I am gambling more frequently, I am borrowing money more, I am hiding my gambling, I'm gambling when I really shouldn't be gambling, I'm gambling at work or whatever, if you are taking loans, like I said, running up debts, if it's having a negative impact on your life and if it's different from when you could gamble in a responsible and safe manner, please get help. I will put some links in the description to b below to, to help out there. Um, I'm not an expert, but if you do want to contact me, my email's in the description as is my Twitter, um, drop me a follow, I'll follow you back and just send me a direct message and I will always get back to you and we can we can just chat as little as much as you want um, but I am not an expert, I do point that out um, but I have battled gambling addiction for many years um, and I've, I've experienced in that so yeah, I urge you to get help and you know, I, I, I must point out if you're backed into a corner, maybe your friends and family are putting pressure on you to get help. Maybe even you see this video as doing that. It's not my intention, but you have to feel ready. You have to feel ready to stop this cycle that you may have got yourself into. And it happens. Addiction happens to a lot of people. Various addictions. It doesn't have to be gambling, drink, drugs. You know, there are many addictions out there and it can creep up on you. Um, I liken it, you know, gambling addiction to enjoying a nice day on the beach. But slowly, the tide's coming in. And when the tide comes in, you can find yourself out at sea and it's very difficult then, really, to get back. And it's difficult, even more difficult, without help. So speak out, reach out, and 
I wish you all the best. But this is just my opinion and it's just out there to hopefully help people who, who may be wondering, you know, and worrying if gambling addiction is taking hold of them. But yeah, if you can leave a like on the video, I know YouTubers say it all the time, but I want to get these videos in front of as many people as possible because the more chance then it's got of reaching people who could really benefit from them. Um, or maybe struggling or maybe asking yourself the very question but hopefully you take something from it and if you do I hope you get in a position where you can get help, get support, break the cycle and give yourself the second chance. Thank you very much and I will catch you on the next one. Stay safe folks.